friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. For today's video in the month of October for my Halloween series, we are just gonna do a fun, chatty, chill, Halloween and spooky related, this or that, slash, would you rather. I asked on my Instagram and my YouTube community tab for you to send in just random this or that's or would you rather scenarios relating to Halloween or spooky things. And a lot of you guys sent in a lot of things. So I'm gonna hit up as many as I possibly can. I'm very excited. I did a video like this a couple years ago and it was so much fun and I'm just excited to do it again. Before we hop into the fun festivities though, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my Instagram and my TikTok by the time this video goes up. And let me just give you my jewelry details right quick. These earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy and my my little moon necklace is from Shop Sun & Co. You can use my affiliate code BattyBean for 10% off. All right, let's hop into some of these scenarios. I am super excited. Haunted house or haunted hayride? I literally cannot remember the last time I got to do a haunted hayride. I feel like they're probably not super prevalent in Florida because there definitely are like corn mazes and pumpkin patches, but not really a ton around me at least that do haunted hayrides. So out of the options, I'm more likely to do a haunted house, but if I could pick any, a haunted hayride sounds like so much fun. I would love that so much. Sci-fi or creature features? Hmm, that's a tough one. Right this moment though, I'll probably have to say creature features. Pumpkins or Christmas lights? I'm assuming you mean like just colorful lights, but Halloween colored, because obviously we're not doing Christmas right now, we're doing Halloween. Um, I don't know if I'd prefer jack-o'-lanterns or lights. I guess if I could only do one, I'd pick jack-o'-lanterns. So just a ton of lit jack-o'-lanterns, that would be so cute. Freddy or Jason? I feel like I always change my answer on this. I can never just settle on one. Right now, I'm gonna say Freddy. Locking it in. Would you rather see or hear ghosts? Hmm. I feel like if I saw it, that would probably be more freaky because it would be absolute confirmation this is what's happening. But if I just hear something, I could probably convince myself that I'm fine rather than if I saw something. I've actually never had a paranormal experience, so I don't know, but I feel like I'd rather hear it than see it. Unless it's friendly. If it's Casper the Friendly Ghost, I would love to hang out with him. He can come hang out any day. Ghosts or jack-o'-lanterns? That's so hard. We just decorated outside of our house last night and like there's some jack-o'-lanterns out and also a cute little array of pathway lights that look like ghosts and I love those little ghosts so much. Oh my gosh, but jack-o'-lanterns are quintessential Halloween. I gotta say jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween, but in general, I'll say ghosts. Halloween drinks or Halloween desserts, not candy. I'm not the biggest beverage person, like cocktails and stuff like that. Like I'll drink wine sometimes. I drink coffee usually once a day, but I'm not a big beverage person, so I'll probably say desserts. I have myself a sweet tooth. Give me some Halloween cookies, some cupcakes. That's a fun time. Be a Twilight vampire or a traditional vampire. That is so funny. Um, I'm gonna go with traditional, but specifically, I wanna be a what we do in the shadows vampire, which is pretty traditional. That's, that's what I wanna be. Never watch spooky movies again or never do spooky makeup of any kind again. Um, it depends on what your definition of spooky makeup is. Is it even so much just like when I do orange and purple eyeshadow look that's just regular but Halloween themed? Or do you mean like scary makeup? Because I really don't do scary makeup too often. So in that case, I would give up the makeup over the movie. And honestly, I'd probably give up Halloween themed makeup over movies too because I just love my Halloween movies. It makes me happy. Nightmare Before Christmas or Corpse Bride? I gotta go with Nightmare Before Christmas. I love it. I love them both, but I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It is my go-to decorating my house for the holidays movie. A black lip or my hazel liquid lip? Hazel's like a beautiful olive green for those of you who don't know. I do love hazel. I've worn it a lot the last couple weeks, like probably every third time I've done my makeup. But in general, I'll go with the black lip because it's gonna go with more things. Would you rather have Halloween on October 31st or have it move to the last Saturday of October? I'd rather just keep it October 31st, honestly. It just makes me happy that that's just the day. It's the same every year. It's the ending of October. I think it's perfect. And then it honestly just makes it more exciting if it falls on a weekend day, but I'm also not a big partier. So I'm probably the wrong person to ask. Like I just wanna cuddle in my pajamas, maybe hand out candy this year if we get trick-or-treaters, watch movies. I don't need it to be on a Saturday to do that. So I'll, I'll keep it on the 31st. I feel like that just means more to me. 
Pumpkin patch or corn maze? Pumpkin patch for sure. I do love me a good corn maze, but going to the pumpkin patch is just all the serotonin. Cute ghosts or spooky ghosts? I gotta go with my cute ghosts. We can hang out, have a good time. That's a lot of fun. Sweet candy or salty chocolate? Probably sweet. I do love a salty sweet combo, but I just have a sweet tooth, man, you know? I love my sweet candy. Cute spooky or scary spooky? Probably for the most part, I don't know. It depends on the situation because there are so many things that I like the cute spooky aspect like Disney Halloween stuff. Love it so much, but I also love scary spooky as well. As far as decor goes and the vibes that I'd rather be in, I'm going to say more cute spooky because I more so just want the colors and characters and tones and vibes. I don't need it to be scary spooky for me to feel like Halloween. I feel like it's a weird answer, but it works in my head. <laughs> orange and black or purple and green? For Halloween, I'm going orange and black, but any other time I'm going purple and green because I love me a good Beetlejuice combo. Pumpkin spice latte or cinnamon tea? I gotta go to the pumpkin spice latte. I wish I liked tea. I'm not a tea person. Sometimes I'm down for an iced matcha latte or a chai, but I don't really like tea, so I'm gonna go with pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin beer or apple cider? I don't like beer. I don't like beer at all. No, so I'm gonna go with apple cider. Classic jack-o'-lantern or an intricate design pumpkin. I'm gonna go with a classic jack-o'-lantern. I love a classic jack-o'-lantern. Jason or Michael? I'm going with Michael. I love Michael Myers. I love the Halloween franchise. Funny scary or terrifyingly scary? I guess I'll go with funny scary. There aren't too many things that like shake me to my core anymore anyway. So if something were to, it would probably affect me pretty deep. So I'm gonna go with funny scary. I want something that I can kind of appreciate and laugh at, but it's still kind of scary, you know? That sounds like more fun. Bats or spider decor? Bats, of course. I feel like that would be so off brand of me to not pick bats. <laughs> Only eat fall foods forever or never have them again. I need to rationalize in my brain what fall foods are to me. Chilies, soups, pumpkin coffees, pumpkin everything, lots of cinnamon. But I don't know if I'd want that forever. That's really tough. It pains me, but I'd probably have to give them up because like tacos and sushi and things like that aren't fall foods. So I couldn't not have those things again. So I'd probably just have to give them up. Once it gets to this time of year, I'd probably have to just dive right into my peppermint stuff. I'd still be able to celebrate fall, but just consume all the peppermint goodies instead. Traditional candy corn or the ones shaped like pumpkins. I love the pumpkin candy corns. They're so cute. I can only eat like one or two at a time, but I love the pumpkins. Corpse Bride or Paranorman? I'm gonna go Corpse Bride. I liked Paranorman, but I didn't love it the same way I love Corpse Bride. Zero or Frankenweenie? That's tough. I gotta go with Zero though. I love his just little ghostly body. He's so cute. A scary or cute costume? I'm gonna go cute. It's, I don't usually, I actually don't really wear too many costumes. Like it's not really my thing. I don't dress up too often. Um, like I'm not a big party goer. Uh, so if I was gonna do something, it's probably gonna be something more on the cute realm. Maybe like cute spooky, but I don't usually go all out scary. Apple or pumpkin? I gotta go pumpkin. Gotta go pumpkin. Crystals or potions? Let's go potions. That's more magical and mysterious. I love it. Cute or spooky pumpkin carving? Hmm. I'm gonna relate this to my jack-o'-lantern face since that's obviously what I prefer. So would I want like a happy one or a scary one? I'm going with a scary, scary jack-o'-lantern for sure. Purple eyeshadow only or grungy green eyeshadow only? Gotta go with the grungy green. You can take away a lot of things, but you can't take away my olive green eyeshadow. I love it. Pumpkin spice latte or apple pie latte? I haven't had an apple pie latte before. I have tried that apple crisp macchiato at Starbucks and it's fine, but I love the pumpkin spice a lot more. Halloween candy or Halloween snacks? I feel like I gotta give it to my snacks. I love some candy, but I'm gonna give it to the snacks again. Give me the cookies, the cupcakes, the brownies. It's all good. Reese's or Hershey's? I gotta go Reese's. Unless it's the Hershey's cookies and cream bars. Those are my favorite thing. Um, but otherwise I would go Reese's. Specifically the Reese's pumpkins. Only watch Beetlejuice for the rest of your life or Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> um... You know, I'd probably go Beetlejuice between the two. And it's not that I like Beetlejuice more per se. They're very different. It's hard to p compare them. But if I could only watch one of the two for the rest of my life, 
You know, actually, I take that back. I think I'm going to say Nightmare Before Christmas because, again, it's my go-to decorating movie. My soul would feel so empty if I was decorating for the holidays without my Nightmare Before Christmas in the background. It's just such a go-to movie for me. I love Beetlejuice with my whole heart, but Nightmare Before Christmas is just such a good go-to. If I don't know what to watch and I want something on the background, it's a high chance I'm going to put that on. It Chapter 1 or It Chapter 2? I'm going to go Chapter 1. They did great with Chapter 2. I loved all the cast they did for the adults, but the first one just hits home. It's so good. I love those kids. Ooh, the Haunted Mansion or the Hollywood Tower of Terror. These are rides at Disney if you don't know. That's so tough because the Haunted Mansion in Magic Kingdom is such a classic. I always have to ride it, but I've been missing the Tower of Terror so much because our pass has expired like two years ago. We haven't been to Hollywood Studios in such a long time. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna go Tower of Terror. It's just so good. This one's really funny. Would you rather only eat half-eaten candy corn or only have stale marshmallows for campfires? I feel like I'm gonna go stale because at least it wasn't partly consumed by somebody else. It won't be pleasant, but I can still smush it on a s'more, you know? It'll probably be better once it's cooked. I'm gonna go stale. Vampires or werewolves? I'm gonna say vampires, yes. Would you rather carve or paint pumpkins? I think I'd rather carve. Painting pumpkins kind of like, it's fine, but it doesn't give me the same level of joy. It's probably also because I'm not that artsy outside of like hair and makeup. Uh, so painting pumpkins, is it's not gonna look quite great. <laughs> the world can only keep one. You decide for all humanity. It, all the chapters, or Beetlejuice. I gotta go with it. I love it so much. I can't not have Pennywise in my life. I would miss Beetlejuice so much though, don't get me wrong, but I can't not have it around. Magical or whimsical? Let's say magical. Would you rather dress up in different costumes every day for the whole month of October, or would you rather wear fall slash Halloween slash witchy aesthetic clothing the whole month of October and not dress in any costumes? For sure the second one, that's usually my reality. Again, I don't wear costumes very much. I think we're gonna have a tiny Halloween party this year, but even that, it's mostly just gonna be a regular outfit for me, <laughs> but themed around a character. But yeah, I just wanna wear witchy fall Halloween clothes all the time. Thank you very much. And it would be so much work to wear a different costume every day in October. Maybe some people could do it, but not me. Would you rather for 24 hours be locked in an actual haunted location or have your home actually haunted for 24 hours? I don't want that energy in my house. Keep the haunting away. This is a brand new home, so it should not be haunted. Um, so I feel like I'd rather go to a separate destination and just hope I don't bring it back with me. Would you rather be a member of the Losers Club and fight Pennywise or be Max's best friend and fight the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus? Um, you know, I feel like this answer is gonna make no sense to anybody because obviously far more dangerous to fight Pennywise, but I want to be an honorary member of the Losers Club. I deserve it. Thank you very much. As a fellow Floridian, Hallow Scream at Bush Gardens or Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando? I've never been to Hallow Scream and I've only been to Halloween Horror Nights twice. We're about to go for our third time in a week. I think we'll have already done that by the time this video goes up. Um, so I've never been to uh, Hallow Scream, so I have to say Halloween Horror Nights. Hallow Scream has just never had themes that like stuck out to me enough to want to go, you know? Would you rather be a vampire or a witch? I'm already a witch, thank you very much. Would you rather give up spooky season or one of your cats? I would never give up any of my cats. They are living, breathing members of my family. So unfortunately, as much as it pains me, goodbye spooky season. Ooh, would you rather wear Black Moon cider lipstick or a black lipstick for the whole month of October? You guys know the questions that hit hard because I also love cider so much. For those of you who don't know, it's like a delicious grungy mustard yellow. Um, but again, I'm gonna pick the black just because I can wear it with more things if I had to wear only that one. Would you rather be in a ghost movie or a zombie one? I'm gonna say ghost movie because zombie movies aren't the most interesting to me unless it's Zombieland or Warm Bodies. <laughs> in which case I would probably be in one of those movies, but probably a ghost movie. Would you rather fight off Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street or Michael Myers from Halloween? I'm gonna say Michael Myers because I feel like the death, because I'm gonna lose, like regardless, I'm gonna lose. But the death from Michael Myers, it's gonna just be quick. He's just gonna, he's gonna stab me and move on with his life. Freddy is gonna torture me in my own dreams. That sounds horrible. So I'd rather just take the easy route. 
A lot of you want to know about like pumpkin or apple flavors. So I'm gonna, again, just, it's pumpkin. It's always pumpkin. I love apple, but it's gonna be pumpkin. Haunted houses versus ghost tours. I'm gonna say ghost tours. I really like a good ghost tour. Would you rather have your life be a classic gory horror movie or a ghost horror movie based off of real events? I don't want my real life to be a scary, gory horror movie. Um, and even though a ghost movie would still be scary, at least it's not gory. So I'll take the less gore, thank you. Oh my gosh, this, <laughs> this question cracks me up. Would you rather fight 10 animated skeletons, three zombies, or one vampire? <laughs> Okay, I know my answer. <laughs> I gotta get into it. Okay, so I'm not gonna fight the one vampire because we're gonna lose. One to one, we're gonna lose. You're more powerful, you're immortal, like, I'm gonna lose. The three zombies, I might stand more of a chance versus the vampire because they're probably slow moving and you know, I, I could probably at least get some speed on them, but I'm still likely gonna lose with the three. The 10 animated skeletons, while that does sound like a lot, I just picture the dry bones from the Mario games and you barely whack them and they fall to pieces. <laughs> and I just picture just being able to like kind of whack at them and they just crumble to bits. So <laughs> in my head, the three animated skeletons would be the easiest choice. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show or The Phantom of the Paradise. I've actually not seen Phantom of the Paradise. So I'm gonna go with Rocky Horror. And I have a hard time believing Rocky Horror would get beat out by the other one, but I have to see it, so we'll see. Would you rather make a costume or buy one? Kind of both, like I don't wanna buy just a costume in a bag, but I'm not a seamstress, I'm not that creative, so I'm not really able to build my own costume, so I would just buy separate pieces and kind of piece it together. Would you rather go trick or treating or give out candy? I wanna give out candy so bad, we haven't really gotten to do that before because we always lived in apartments, so I'm really hoping we get trick or treaters this year. I'm so excited to hopefully hand out candy. Ooh, would you rather celebrate Halloween in the early 2020s or early 2000s? You know, I'm not gonna say the early 2020s because 2020 was horrible. Um, so I'm gonna say let's just take it back to 2000, simpler times. Um, I can celebrate back then. <laughs> Would you rather have six months of fall or six months of spring? Fall any day, thank you. Would you rather give up all your makeup or all your Halloween decor? I'm honestly, I think this is gonna surprise a lot of you, but I think I would give up my makeup and start rebuilding my collection just because the Halloween decor that I buy, it like super has to spark joy for me to buy it. And I've been collecting for quite a few years now and I would be devastated to not have my collection of Halloween decor anymore. There's some things I would literally not be able to get again. And I mean, there are makeup items in my collection that were limited edition and I can't get anymore. But for the most part, I could start rebuilding my collection pretty substantially. Obviously I don't want either of those situations, but the Halloween decor would be really painful to rebuild. Would you rather use the new ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette or the new Nomad Haunted Europe palette? The new Hocus Pocus palette's fairly boring to me, not gonna lie. Um, and I've already used the Haunted Europe palette on my channel. I already have a two looks video um, and I really enjoyed it, so yeah. Oh my gosh, this question is so funny. Would you rather watch The Corpse Bride over and over again for 24 hours or would you rather eat 15 bags of candy corn in one sitting? I literally do not think I could eat 15 bags of candy corn in one sitting, so I'll have a lazy day. You know, we can just chill, watch Corpse Ride over and over again for 24 hours. It's like an hour and a half long movie. So what's that, watching it like, I don't know, 16 times if I'm guessing? Um, I think I could do that. I'm a perpetual rewatcher anyways. <laughs> spooky stacks, not candy, or spooky cereal? I'm not the biggest cereal person. I get random spurts where I want it. Like I actually was craving Count Chocula the other day but I'm gonna say spooky snacks. Horror movies or cute, cheesy Halloween movies? Um, I love myself a good horror movie, but this time of year, I want a lot of those like cozy, feel good, happy Halloween movies. Haunted Ouija board or a haunted tarot deck? Um, I, I don't mess with Ouija boards. I like the aesthetic of them, but I don't own a Ouija board. Uh, so I'll take the tarot deck over the Ouija board in this case. Snuggle in a cozy sweater or a cozy blanket? Can I just have all the cozy things? I'm gonna say sweater though. I love when it gets to the time of year that I can wear a sweater every day. It makes me so happy. Would you rather live in the Adams Family house or the Beetlejuice house? I'm gonna say the Adams Family house. I feel like that's kind of my home decor aesthetic anyway. <laughs> Pumpkin picking or apple picking? This makes me wanna cry. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick pumpkin picking just because that's what's accessible here in Florida. But when I was a child, we lived in North Georgia and I remember taking field trips to apple orchards and it was so cute and I wanna do that again so bad. 
That would be so much fun. Gummies or chocolate candy? Um, let me think. I'm gonna go chocolate. I do love gummies, but I love chocolate. <laughs> would you rather live in a giant pumpkin or sleep in a coffin? I would love to live in a giant pumpkin. That sounds like a blast. Bats or skeletons? Bats for days. Ooh, this question. This question is gonna get me. Hocus Pocus versus Halloween Town. You can't pit them against each other. Oh, it's so hard. Because Halloween Town feels the most like my childhood for me. Like it takes me back, makes me feel like I'm running back into my room because I know the movie's finally about to come on. Because you didn't stream things back then, you just had to wait for them to come on the TV at the right time. But Hocus Pocus just also brings me so much joy and I feel like the older I get, the more I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna say Hocus Pocus. It's so tough though. Hot tea or hot chocolate? Hot chocolate for sure. I wish I liked tea, but I just don't. Frankenweenie or Frankenstein? I'm gonna go with Frankenweenie. He's so cute. And technically Frankenstein is the doctor, not the monster anyways. So, you know, but either way, I'm gonna pick Frankenweenie. And you know, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. I think I hit up them all. Hopefully I got to yours. Um, some of them were repeat, so I tried to just kind of bounce around. Um, thank you so much for participating and sending in your prompts. This was so much fun. I would love to hear some of your answers down below. If any of these situations like struck an answer for you, you can leave your answers down below. We can chat about it. Just have a good old time chatting about Halloween things. If you made it to the end of this video, I want you to leave me, hmm, either the ghost or the pumpkin emoji, whichever one you prefer. And if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, you can follow me on my socials. I'm Batty Bean on everything. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And you can also subscribe. I'm posting every single day in the month of October. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.